Good morning. I am actually hanging out for a brief moment here with some of the volunteers at this event. I see this group I, at, at a lot of events, and they're here today with the Children's Miracle Network to help bring smiles to kids' faces. This is Seamus. Tell me the name of your group and why you formed it a couple years ago. Uh, we're the League of Enchantment. We were actually formed out of a couple different tragedies that a few of the members were involved with, and then it just grew into this huge, amazing group that we have now. And what is your mission? Our mission mostly is to go into hospitals and visit with kids and work with hospice and outreach. So you have a variety of characters from a variety of different movies. You can see part of oh, your yeah. league of enchantment and you do a lot of work just brightening the days of kids and families. There's a couple of different groups here as well. And so I also want to give a shout out, you guys, Belle and her beast. Uh, these two, Belle is in 10th grade. She, her voice, she sings just, it sounds like Belle. It is really Belle standing in front of her. Her beast, you guys are in high school still. And the name of your group that you guys have formed? Magical Moments. Yeah, Magical Moments. So I just want to give a shout out to thank you all so much for donating your time. You really have made it magical and uh, we want to also talk with uh, somebody from the Children's Miracle Network. We've got uh, Tom McGarry here with us. He is the Community Engagement uh, Vice President at Beaumont Health and you've got these incredible volunteers here that really I can see the kids light up, their faces brighten up, and that quality of life and bringing joy during difficult times is so important. It is. It's part of our mission with Children's Miracle Network and how CMN impacts Walmart Children's Hospital patients. All of these volunteers and the kids coming here, uh, they've overcome so much. And all of the families that support them, all their neighbors, friends, family members came out in mass today to give these folks a big hug. Now, this is about raising money here today, the Walk for Miracles, and I know that the goal was is a, is a big one. It's $100,000 is the it goal, is. and money has been raised in the past. How many kids have been able to be helped by these events and these donations? We help about 200,000 kids a year in the eight Beaumont Children's Hospitals around the area. So we are helping kids with autism connect to their families, children who might have speech therapy issues, say their first words, or even take their first steps too if they're having physical issues. And for those of you just tuning in, Beaumont Health, of course, they do a lot on their own, but a lot of the programs they can offer aren't covered by health insurance, and that's where Children's Miracle Network comes in and helps uh, helps contribute and make some of those programs possible that make it a major difference in kids' lives. Uh, what is something that you feel like maybe people don't understand about this partnership that you, you would like them to know? Sure. Well, we've been a, a partner with Children's Miracle Network and Beaumont Children's for more than 30 years. So CMN actually built Beaumont Children's Hospital program by program doing events like this, raising more than $70 million wow. during that 32-year partnership to help us help kids in Metro Detroit. So incredible. Thank you for all the work that you do. We got to meet some incredible kids earlier this morning. Those links will be on our website, along with more information about the Children's Miracle Network and their work with Beaumont. So if you'd like to contribute but you couldn't make it out today, there is still time. All that information at WXYZ.com. Reporting live here at the Detroit Zoo, back to you. Yeah, we loved hearing from all of them. Certainly such a special day today. Thank you so much, Jennifer Ann.